three, two, one, and boom. We are live. Thank you for tuning into Crawford's House Podcast. We are live with uh, uh, a phenomenal group. Uh, actually, one guy that I've, I've met at parties before and kind of connected us. And now I am here with his band. And they're making some noise in uh, the Ontario region, Jailbirds. Jailbirds, thank yeah. you guys so Hello. much for uh, being Hello. here today with me. How's it going? Ah, you Thanks know what? Thanks for having us, man. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, thank you so much for being here. Um, I have a whole crazy amount of topics that I want to talk to you guys about. But first off, talk to me about Jailbirds just just in general. What, uh, what ended up getting you guys started? Uh, music. No. <laughs> just uh, <laughs> music? No, it, it was... Uh, where do we start? Uh, it was with oh, it was with you guys first. Yeah, Liam and I have been playing in a band together since like high school, and um, it kind of just turned into something else. And we decided to rename it and all this kind of stuff. And people left, and um, we just sort of restarted it three years ago. And we just like, uh, yeah, just contacted Eric. He had an, had an ad on Kijiji or whatever, and then we just yeah met up and. Uh, yeah, here we are now. Here we are now. It just yeah. I mean, it just kept going. It just it, you just started it back up and snowballed. It, started, it just worked. Yeah, no, it was great. Yeah, that's the best way it can be, honestly, because uh, I always like to think just because uh, you you stop doing something uh, for a little bit doesn't mean it's completely dead. You know, there's always uh, there's always some life to be put back into that. Yeah, um, yeah. that's phenomenal. Uh, now you guys have how long have you guys been uh, reactive? You said two years now. Three almost. Three almost. almost. Yeah. Yeah, we started really like rehearsing uh, just about three years ago. Um, right on. In 2016. Yeah. Now within three years, uh, I look at three years as a pretty short time uh, in the industry. You guys have uh, recently. I shouldn't even say recently. You released a CD. Yep, an EP. Yeah. Uh, uh, yes. January 25th, we did the EP release at Rum Runners. So right off the bat, we have an EP out, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, on a tour right now too, sir. Yeah, yes, this sir. is like the first couple shows of like a, a string of shows throughout Ontario. That's I'd say that that actual tour is coming up in April throughout June and it starts, uh, July yeah. as well. Yeah, there's a few dates in July too. Yeah. And Booking more all the time. We might even fill out some more throughout May and June. That's fantastic. Um, and so yeah. you guys, you guys are getting out there. You guys are uh, playing as many shows as you can, just kind of expose everyone you can to yep. music. Yep. Now, uh, what uh, have you guys? Uh, have you guys played? I guess the majority right now just in southwestern Ontario venues. Uh, I know another band uh, guy. He actually ventures up to like uh, Montreal and stuff to play shows. Yep. Uh, where do you guys like really love playing? Playing your shows, kind of. London's always been great. Every time we've. Uh, come here um, like we've always had a good response from the crowd uh, the energy like we've always felt we've played good like too like ourselves on stage like you know after we finish the show we're like yeah well, you know we uh, killed it we crushed yeah. it yeah um, and that's the best feeling yeah yeah, yeah. yeah and most mostly for us has been south or, southern Ontario um, London and Toronto and Hamilton I guess are the right main ones those are the big ones to hit honestly because uh, yeah. if we look at it if it was like the veins to a body those are the pretty main organs that are pumping the blood exactly. totally like, yeah. those yeah. are the ones where people get uh, the shows um, now that's uh, now that's kind of out of the way where uh, are we able to talk kind of the upcoming tour are you guys able to talk where you're playing dates kind of shows cities where we can find you playing uh, like yeah. I said over the next 30 days to uh, 60 days um, yeah, like the next like little while. Um, obviously today, we're, I guess it's not going up today, uh, but we're playing the Junos, the Juno Fest thing tonight, and then on April fifth, uh, that's when it sort of kicks off, and we're doing um, Chainsaw and Waterloo Kitchener, and um, then the next day we're doing Stratford with our friends in Road Wolves. They're for their EP release, uh, the Masonic Hall. That's April sixth, and then the next uh, weekend we're doing Thursday, the eleventh. Uh, and then the Friday, Saturday, Kingston, Ottawa, and Montreal. Right now. And uh, that's going to be really fun. We haven't been to Kingston in, in like three years, literally. We, I heard like two years now. I oh, wow. It so it's, it's um, right when we started. Now we're going back right where, uh, exactly. right where we're now. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Now, you yeah. did mention the Junos in there. That's a pretty big deal for the London area this weekend. Totally. Yeah. What, uh, what you guys got going on for the Junos? You guys are playing a show? Yeah, we're putting together a video thing. We're doing... Uh, <laughs> obviously some podcasts and we're doing yeah we're, we're playing a gig tonight opening for bob noxious right on which is pretty sweet right on that'd be the a phenomenal guys. show bob noxious is a, a london favorite uh, yeah to say so, the very so we've heard yeah, yeah absolutely 
Yeah, um, it should be fun. That's and honestly, it is such a huge hype. I uh, I feel like with the London with the Junos happening this week, and I've I've been talking to actually, it was talking to uh, the guys from uh, Sound Drive earlier about how like this is an opportunity that like I don't think people realize only happens once in a lifetime. Like right. this, the Junos are in your city. Like you could take a bus ride. 10 minutes and be in the core of the Junos. And I, I've been yeah. talking to a lot of musicians and there was like, yeah, it's no big deal they're here. I'm like, oh, I don't know that you're going to succeed in this industry if you kind of just... Deal. Yeah, yeah, it's like, a huge deal. Like, this is literally the time where everybody of everyone from the Canadian music industry is in one place. Yeah. Yep. Like, that's insane. It's where you want to be. It, it's exactly... Yeah, it's exactly it. That's where you want to be. Now, um, there was also something you had mentioned in there um, about, uh, or maybe you didn't mention it, sorry, it was something that I wanted to mention about how you were in London kind of for the day. Now, London has uh, what we know as uh, pretty good recording studios, um, EMAC, maybe yes. to, say, to drop a bomb there. You yeah. guys were at EMAC today. Yeah, we just sure. came from are, there. Are you able to maybe fill us in on what is happening with that right now we have any future plans are we yeah. able to discuss it is it a hush sure. hush situation no like, i mean it was honestly like a spur of the moment thing we we did a podcast there and that was just like a, we were looking for a spot to do it and i asked if we could use the lounge and it was it was cool so that's why we were there in the first place but then we were also um we didn't think about this for some reason but we were uh i we had sent matt Grady, our producer, uh, a mix for something like a new song or just something. an idea you guys were working on, and um, it was like a live recording that we did. Oh, at Radio right on, Western, right on. Yeah, and so we did like a few, like five songs at Radio Western in January now, and and uh, yeah, one of them is a new song of ours, and the rest, of the other four, are, is the EP that we released. Um, but yeah, we sent it to Matt, and he's gonna mix it. And we were just kind of screwing with it today. Yeah, he was just, like, and, well, he's yeah. just showing us like you know how the mix is turning out and like how he's mixing it, see if it sounds right. Like, yeah, right on. Uh, it sounds, all the volume sounds, sounds and it sounded pretty freaking good. Yeah, <laughs> There's a video. To uh, that's go along, good. that's what I like to hear. That's yeah. what I like to hear. So uh, cool. I'm, I don't want to jump the gun here, but if we're looking to the future of 2019, that was another talking point I had. Um, you know, what are we looking for in the future of 2019? We're we looking at another maybe uh, another EP release. Are we looking at uh, doing a bigger tour? Um, you know, the tour is obviously coming up over the next couple of months. But like, if I'm looking at the tail end, we focus on what's now. We never really try and focus on what's in the six months. But what are you guys trying to hope to get around with the uh, tail end of 2019? Um, yeah, we're we're working on videos right now um for all the all the songs on the ep and basically we're just gonna be releasing videos and planning our next ep um this year and then mm -hmm. as well we might we, we just talked about that video thing with with radio western uh that is going to be released this year right on um, radio western is a phenomenal uh phenomenal place there it, it was uh, awesome you, yeah. it's, it's almost like a little mini recording studio is the way i look at yeah, it like, yeah, they, got, yeah. they got the professional level grade uh, equipment there and it was nice great. studio space Absolutely, yeah, we loved it. It was a great experience, um, and yeah, it sounds great. Um, the uh, the other thing that we were gonna do, um, we're still just kind of talking about it. We might go up to like a cottage or something and record an acoustic EP, Ooh. or something like that. See, the cottage is the biggest key factor in that. You yeah, gotta have yeah, the <laughs> yep. factor. Exactly. You gotta have the lakeside, yeah, the man. the birds, the quiet. Like, yeah, can can vibe this. Yeah. That's awesome. Now, um, if, uh, you know, I, I've told the people who you are, um, but I haven't really told them much about where to find you. Uh, you know, anything anything in that regards. You know, I know you have a website, you have a Facebook, you have a, I'm assuming you have a YouTube channel. We've got it all. Got, got it all. all. You got it all. So, Jailbirds uh, is the name of the band. Uh, if they want to go to a website, uh, Jailbirds. Jailbirds Rock, Rock and Roll. Rock and Roll. Yeah. Dot .ca now is it rock and roll and rock in roll rock and yeah so mm. it's just the rock and then yeah. and and then roll right yeah. on and then uh, we got a facebook page jailbirds uh the facebook page yep yeah man and yeah. all of our urls are the same like the handle on instagram and shit too it's all that jailbirds rock and roll thing okay perfect jailbirds rock and roll is where you'll find everything jailbirds now uh I, i've gone over and this is keeps happening to me i make an idea of things i want to talk about and i get through it 15 times faster than I could ever imagine. Is there anything you guys want to talk to uh, the crowd that's listening about? Obviously, I, I want I don't want to miss anything, and I feel like I'm missing everything. Oh, no. I mean, um, yeah, I mean, we got a lot of exciting things coming out, and, and we're working on a bunch of shit. Um, 
and yeah no we're stoked like we just put out the cp and people seem to be uh liking it, it and just you know good response all around and that's really exciting like we just wanted to make something that we were proud of and then so it's cool when uh other people are really digging it as well and like saying things like um you know we didn't tell anybody what to think but people are saying things that were like that's exactly what we were going for so that's yes, that's, that's, really that's great, exactly you know? what you wanted to hear when you release it to other people then yeah absolutely. so that's the best response you could get and, yeah, honest, and honestly, sure. the, the listener is really who uh, you know who you guys do to, like end up doing it for, right? As a band, that's your, like they're my main focus of wanting to make them happy with my music. Right. right. Exactly. Like we have to be happy first, but like we also have to make sure like yeah, like people listening, like they're gonna like it. Like that's for sure. That's for sure. Yeah, you don't want to release uh, some level of uh, music where it doesn't end up being all that great, and it's like I. We, did we produce this? Like, did we? Were we happy with this when we released it? And that's uh, from listening to you guys. I don't. I don't question that at all. That's that's ever been a mindset. You guys <laughs> no. You guys crush it, and you're like, this is good, and this is going to dominate the airwaves. <laughs> Sweet. Um, so uh, I guess uh, like we uh, we've covered. I think we've covered almost everything that I had to talk about. Do you have when you guys are at these shows? Um, do you have the CDs for physical copies people can pick up? Yep. Uh, T-shirts, yep. anything of that nature? We've we gotta, usually have yeah. them if I don't forget them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but. Yeah, we got, we have some shirts right now with um, our old logo. Old logo, never to be ever reprinted again. So get those while they're still around. There's only uh, like so thirty left. It's a limit. It sounds like it's one of those uh, you're you never going to see it design again because it's, it's that exclusive. That's right. Mm. You heard it, people. Pick it up. Just get it for ten bucks. Just come get one from us. We ten wanna, bucks is wanna cheap get rid as of hell. Them. Just come and get. They're comfy as. Fuck, dude. Are they are they nice they're cotton? So yeah, comfy. actually, they're, they're pretty nice. See, that is the thing, and I I would debate it until the day I die with uh, people is that you can get shirts from different. I don't know how if it's a production line issue, but there's some t-shirts that just they're stiff and creamy. Oh, yeah, and they, yeah. Uh, I've got a bunch. Suck to wear. Yeah. Got a, see, I've got a bunch from bands. I don't. Uh, I'm gonna go wildly off topic here for a moment, but there's a competitive eater I follow online, Randy Santel, and this guy has completed over 650 food challenges, and every challenge usually Jeez. comes with a shirt. So he just puts the shirt in like a box, and never wears them. Hmm. How many variations of clothing, or like cloth, do you think are used in those 650 different shirts? Yeah. Way too many. Way too many, right? Like, like yeah. there's eggs from all over the world, so I don't even know. Do other countries have different kinds of uh, stitching clothing? I don't know. I don't know. Wildly no off idea. topic. Maybe. Uh, no. no, I don't. <laughs> Not even just kind of a discussion. Mind-boggling. Like it's mind-boggling. Yeah, different kinds of food, different kind of clothing, right? It makes makes sense. Textures. Like, even the process. I don't know. Like, it's... Well, I mean, we're, we, we have some pretty nice clothing, but like, we don't have nice food to give you, <laughs> so... Well, so luckily, we, we come when to I come London, to a that's jailbird what... show, I'm not. Uh, well, I would. I guess I want bar food, but I'm not there to get food. I'm there to get my my right. uh, my music senses tingled, and it's gonna be it's gonna be tangled when uh, you go to a jailbird show. Um, so I guess before I let you go, is uh, there's anything you guys want to say uh, to the crowd? You know, I I feel like I haven't kept you around long enough, but at the same time, I don't want to overkeep you because no, um, no. I do you know you guys have a busy night ahead. Um, this is a, going to be a uh, released. Um, a little bit after when we record it, but uh, tonight is the Saturday of the Juno, so it's kind of a big freaking deal yeah. to be in the city tonight. So, totally. uh, and yeah, anything you guys want to say to the crowd? Uh, I mean, if you're I mean keep London, at it. I mean, yeah, stay, like, stay tuned, man. Yeah, just uh, big things some, are coming. Big things are coming along. We're working on some cool shit. We're always writing new music and all that stuff. And you know, we're just yeah, we're grateful to be playing in the Junos tonight and just to be playing shows in general. It's fun and it's, you know. It's good that people are enjoying our music, so keep streaming on fucking Spotify, Apple Music, all that stuff. It's anywhere you want to listen to music, you can find it. Any and everywhere. It's a purple cover. You can't you can't miss it. We made it so that you can't fucking miss it. Yeah. See, Even now, in a the question sea about of that. music, you know, there's a sea of albums on the wall. We wanted it to kind of stick Stand out. And out. No one uses purple anymore. We well, I say, did you take inspiration from Weezer with like the green, the teal, no. the black album? No, not no, really. No, no, no. It was just kind of like a like a we noticed. Nobody like, uses purple. Nobody's doing purple. <laughs> Fuck it. Let's just do purple. No, and, you know and what? purple's I, just awesome. It's a good color. I, I was actually gonna say purple's a very underrated color. It's a great yeah. color. Um, so yeah, so, I don't I don't disagree with that. That's that's a great idea, guys. 
Hey, well, uh, thank you guys so much for being here, uh, Crawford's House Podcast. Uh, honestly, I'm thrilled that you guys would uh, take the time to pop in tonight while while you're in town. When you guys got so much other stuff going on, you made a little bit of time for me, so I'm beyond thankful for that. Um, like you said, if you guys want to check anything out, Jailbirds, Jailbirds Rock and Roll, um, Rock and Roll. Uh, website, Facebook, Instagram, everything you can do to access uh, Jailbirds. Jailbirds, guys, thank you so much for coming. Oh, thank you again. Thanks Our for pleasure, us. man. Thanks and, for having us. And uh, 2019 is the year for Jailbirds, so be on the lookout. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And until next time, bye-bye. <laughs>